Aston Martin takes their V8 Vantage to the ring and brings back something special. Mercedes going commando with a new version of the G and news on a possible new Pagani model. Hey everybody, I'm Derek D. You're watching Fast Lane Daily, Wednesday. Black Magic is sponsoring Matt Farah to race in the Bull Run Rally July 9th through 16th. Matt's going to post videos every single day on blackmagicshine.com and thesmokingtire.com, so you guys should probably go check that out. Race? Racing? It's not a race. And Matt Farah's not a race car driver. I mean, he's a world-class party boy. <laughs> but it's going to be the Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 that's going to shine, not his wheel work. True, Matt thinks hitting the apex is going to a club in Vegas, but I think you're just angry because you're not driving and he is, let's be honest. Maybe, maybe, but I guess we should all be happy he's Matt enough to capture all the fun on camera. <laughs> that's, that's good, Matt enough, I like that. Yeah, so remember to check out daily videos July 9th through 16th, and if you want to throw in a joke about Matt's sideburns, go ahead and do that too. Is, is that what his sideburns look like? Sideburns. Okay. Matt, Matt Burns. I wasn't sure. Chops. Aston Martin has revealed yet another version of the V8 Vantage. Although the V12 Vantage now accounts for most of the company's sales, Aston has released this, the Vantage N420. It's a standard V8 Vantage that's been extensively tuned at the Nürburgring with an updated sport suspension, sport exhaust, and a 60-pound diet. The car will feature the standard 4.7-liter V8 that puts out 420 horsepower, as well as Aston's new race collection paint schemes. Total cost, you're looking at 147,000 jammers. A reasonable price considering that's almost the same as a new 911 Turbo these days. In related news, people that smoke weed really like this car. Because a lot of 420 references. Oh, that was terrible. Don't do drugs. And General Motors has announced that the Lansing Grand River Assembly Plant has started to ship 2011 Cadillac CTS Coupes to dealerships. They should be there within a few days. I don't know, maybe I should get one of those. They're nice. But I probably won't be getting one. But that's just silly news, right? It's GM. The real news today comes from Mercedes-Benz, who has finally solved many of the world's concerns, especially when it comes to invading small nations. Take for example Liechtenstein, the small country between Switzerland and Austria, prime for an invasion and the new Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon Lap V 6.X concept. This thing is a straight up G, capable of 93 miles per hour and over 2,800 pounds of cargo. This armored vehicle is designed to sustain attacks from rocket propelled grenades and landmines. The G also has an air shock suspension that's capable of raising and lowering 450 millimeters for clearance. Inside, you'll find a data recording black box, similar to those out of a plane, communication gear, and jamming systems. If needed, it will also turn into Chuck Norris and kick your ass. Very nice, I like that. In our internets of rumors, we are serving up some Pagani info today. Looks like there could be a V8 version of Pagani in the works. It's coming from founder Horatio Pagani. Of course, this is all just speculation, Horatio only hinted at this in an interview with a British magazine, Evo. If it does get the green light, we could possibly see it by 2015, and Pagani would build about 500 units. That's 460 more than the current production number. That's 40. Horatio has said that the look of this V8 version could be based on the Pagani C9, which is coming out later this year. Thanks, Pagani, because everyone likes a tease that will last until 2015. Right? The blue balls of death. The blue balls of death in the car world. That's all, I'm, that's all we're saying. Well, that's it for FLD today. Is it hump day? Yeah. It is. It is. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Wow, I got retarded mouth today. Hey, stay cool, New York City. It's hot out there. I'll talk to you guys later.